Listen up, listen up. If you get this simple code wrong, you will crash your machine. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Before we get started, I wanna invite you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and put your comments below, all right? So the other day, we put a vlog number 51, all right? GNM code, an advanced manual programming trick. And then I went through your comments, and as I went through your comments, I saw some confusion. I saw some guys that really got it, and I saw some other people that didn't get it, all right? And what I'm talking about is how to end the program. And then I realized I've actually ended my programs differently at different times when teaching code. And that is not a good thing, okay? Because different people have different machines. Some are using probes to get their offsets and others are manually touching off to get their offsets. And depending on what you do and what type of machine you have, you're gonna end your program differently. So I just wanted an opportunity to clearly explain this to you, okay? So when looking at the code that I created in vlog number 51, all right? I'm not gonna worry about the meat up top, I'm just gonna worry about the ending down here, all right? So what I did was I raised to G0, Z.1, and then I used a G28 to go home. So what we need to understand is I actually used the probe to actually touch off my tools. So instead of manually coming down and manually offsetting and having a Z negative, instead I actually have a Z positive, all right? So instead of like doing a G49 and canceling it, which would send it down, I instead use the G28 and I use the G91 to force that move up. I didn't put my G53 in because at the time I wasn't trying to teach you about the G53. I was just getting my tool away from the workpiece. Okay. But now I'll actually go a little bit further and I'll show you a few different styles. Okay. So we had G0, Z.1, G0, G91, G28, Z0 and boom, we're up top. And then since we have a G91, we have a G90, and right here, I actually hit a G53X. One of the cool things about a G53 is it allows us to send the table home to whichever position we want, all right? So a lot of times I'll look at where my part is and I'll figure out my X movement to the center of the table and I'll call that out. So if it's at 40 inches, I'll just say X negative 40 inches, Y zero, and then boom, it brings the part perfectly to the door so I can simply open it and change my part, all right? So let me do just that. I'll go X negative 40 point, Y zero, end the block, boom. And then that will send my table home, everything will be good. Another option that we have while using the probe is simply to bypass this guy right here, all right? And instead of using a G91 and a G28, we'll simply use a G53 so long your machine utilizes a G53, all right? Some machines don't like it, so you're forced to use a G28, okay? All right, so G0, Z.1, now I'm gonna hit G53. I'm gonna simply say, Z0, boom, and then you got G53, Z0, G53, it's gotta be on the line, X negative, Y, boom, and then we hit our M30 to end the program, okay? So why would I actually send Z0 home first? Simply to get it out of the way, all right? Sometimes when you put in a Z and an X and a Y, it'll actually take an angle on you. And if you're in a pocket, you can actually crash the machine, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is simply take the tool, disengage, get it up, and then move over when it's safe. All right, so let's say that you actually like manually set your height offsets, okay? 
and you're on a machine that doesn't have a probe. So I would go about it a little bit different. So what I would do here, I do the same thing, a G0, a Z.1, but we got to remember on that tool, we had a G43 up here at the top that basically said, go get height offset number one. Okay, and we said H1 for number one. Now at the end, when we're ready to go home, and there's no incrementals in play because our G90 canceled the G91, we simply want our tool to go straight up. So in this case, I would simply hit a G49, which cancels out the height offset, and then I would say Z0, and it would instantly go straight to the top to machine zero. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these guys right here. Now, let me just hit G0, G49, cancel the height offset, okay? And then G90, just for safety reasons, and then Z0, end the block, enter. Now that gets my tool out of the way and then I just stay with the G53, the X negative 40, and the Y zero, boom, okay? And that will send your machine home perfectly. Now I wanna stress the point. If you have a probe, you do it like the first ways that I showed you. And if you're manually setting your heights, you do it the last way I showed you, okay? and you always double check your numbers, you always run your program above the part, put it in 5%, take the feed rate down, and actually dry run it to ensure that everything is perfect. All right, to give you a quick recap, if you hit a G0, a G91 incremental, and a G28 and Z0, it's gonna shoot your tool straight up to machine home, and that's a good line of code to utilize when you're offsetting your tools off a probe, okay? Another thing that we can do is actually hit a G53, G0, Z0, and that will also shoot your tool to the top of the machine, and then you can move your table, boom. Now, if you manually offsetted your tools off the part or the fixture, and you have a Z negative in your offset, not a positive, but a negative, then you can simply hit a G0, G90 for safety, G49 to cancel height offset for that tool, Z0, and it'll go straight to the top of the machine. Then you can come back with a G53, place your table, and you're good. All right, so that's just a few ways that you can end your program. Make sure you double check, make sure you run above and be safe. All right, if you enjoyed this vlog, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, put your comments down below because we're just gonna keep bringing the heat, teaching you manual programming, teaching you CNC five axis, teaching you the entire trade. Oh, have a great day, I am out, boom.